Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to be finally, after several months of working on it, initially doing the hardware build and then the software build and then transferring licenses, my new editing rig will go down in my editing lab area downstairs. I have it up here in my studio for now because I'm doing some finishing touches. This is going to be a vast improvement. First of all, I'm going from a Intel i7 8700K to an Intel i9 9900K CPU. I'm going from just a one terabyte NVMe drive from Samsung to a two terabyte Samsung NVMe. And I'm putting a second, or already put a second NVMe in there as well for another two terabytes. And that's to replace my temporary storage area while I'm doing my editing and rendering of my videos. So now it's gonna switch from a two and a half inch pair of drives put in RAID zero over to another NVMe. And I'll show all of these performance results in some charts if you hang around a little bit later in this video, along with it in place running and hopefully you'll be able to see an edit of it. Now some of the big changes obviously are the ones I mentioned, but also I've upgraded the video card. The video card again, this is not meant to be a gaming PC, it's meant to be an editing and rendering PC. And the video card is used for that, for the rendering, just as it, was, as it would be in gaming. The one I had in my old PC only had a 1070, a GTX 1070. Well, this now has an RTX 3070 Ti in it, which is significantly faster and will improve my overall rendering, hopefully significantly as well. As you can see, it's still all RGB. Um, I have a cut, I cut this in a previous video. I cut the opening here and put a filter that's magnetically laid in. But I had to cut that opening and I had to put the right strips in here to hold that. I also have the um, RGB on the inside, as you can see, the back fan, for example, and also on the, the cooler itself, the two fans that are on the AIO cooler. That's also an improvement from my previous one because previously it was a, a single air slash heatsink cooler that was on my CPU. Now this one has an AIO, a 240 millimeter AIO. It has pretty much each of the different components that are used for making this an editing workstation for me have been improved. And as I said, you'll be able to see those results in charts in a few minutes. One thing that I didn't do, as you can see the side panel is left off, well, the side panel is going to be modified yet. I'm going to do a, uh, a mod to that. Right now, this is a side panel. It's just blank steel. It has some noise reduction panel on the inside of it. I'm gonna cut a hole into this. It'll be about 11 by 11 inches. And I'm going to take a piece of plexiglass, quarter inch, very solid. So it should have the same noise canceling capability but I'm gonna etch it just like I etched my previous one on my previous editing workstation where I put my actual stamp for my PE license. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing on this one, but I'm gonna make the PE license stamp a little bit smaller. And in the corner, I'm going to put my logo for my YouTube channel, PE for Doers. So that's a change as well. And uh, I think that's about it. One thing I didn't transfer yet, which I will do as I'm doing the transfer is my um, Blu-ray writer. I have the spot for it. As you may recall from this PC being built originally, I wanted to make sure I had a couple of five and a quarter inch bays. The one you see here right now, it actually gives me some extra USB ports. Always handy to have. I think it's two USB twos and two USB threes. But then I'm gonna put right underneath that the actual drive for the Blu-ray writer or reader. I mean, I still use that for some storage and transfer capability. Not often, but I still do. And as long as, you know, I have it, I figured I would just go ahead and use it. And I think that pretty much covers all of the enhancements that I'll have. And the only thing to see next is uh, what the performance difference will be. And then, like I said, I'm going to conclude this particular video with it rendering using my CyberPower editing software. Probably this video right here. And I'll let you know when I get to that point, you know, which video is on it. So... Stay tuned and uh, get ready. One other upgrade that I did was to upgrade from 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. 
So this here is showing the actual test of the new memory in place, which tested 100% after some initial issues in terms of seeding of the memory, that is. Okay, well, here's the old PC taken out. I've actually removed the uh, DVD writer, or Blu-ray writer, actually. And uh, as you can see, everything else is exactly how I was using it. If you look at the side panel, however, you will see something I was referring to earlier. So back over here, let me take this off and you can see what I'm talking about. So this here is the side panel that I created. Originally it was one solid piece of metal and I inserted a plexiglass piece to it that I etched from the inside. Reverse image of what I wanted to etch, put it in there, and then use the etching tool from this side. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing again with a new one. That's gonna probably be in a separate video. However, what I'm thinking now is I am going to probably make a video taking this one apart in a follow-up video. The parts, about half of them are allocated to other projects that I have going on, including some upgrades, but the other half will probably just go on the shelf or maybe even, you know, into the trash. We'll see how that goes. I'm not exactly sure. I tend to not throw away things for quite a while, so chances are it'll go on the shelf and we'll see if I have a need for using them in something else. So anyway, here we go. And uh, let me now show you the, uh, the different uh, performance measurements that the new PC has versus this PC that was in place before. Okay, before I get into the actual performance charts, let me show you a tool I probably never showed you before. The Blender tool, which is relatively new to my testing suite. Let me know what you think. Well, that's the Blender benchmark. What do you think? Now let's take a look at the charts.